You are one of my heroes. Sergeant Victor Butler sits back in his chair. That's a nice guy. Reading kind words. Thanks for your service. Happy birthday. Cards from strangers addressed to him. I feel pretty good about it. Yeah. The retired Tuskegee Airman turns 100 years old on Saturday. I'm excited because of all these gifts coming in. His granddaughter asked people to send cards and the response? Overwhelming. All races and nationalities from around the country. Happy birthday from sunny Florida. Mailing more than 12,000 cards. I figured I'd get about 100. <laughs> and yet I'm still getting them. <laughs> Thanking Butler for his service. The whole country owes you and your fellow <clears throat> airmen thanks for helping defeat the Nazis and advancing civil rights. I don't know what to say. I, I just didn't know there were so many nice people in the world. And I'm really thankful for them. Sergeant Butler is believed to be one of the last surviving members of the Tuskegee Airmen, a mechanic who worked on fighter planes in World War II, breaking barriers while battling hate. I ran into a lot of racism by going to town. He stayed on the all-black base in Tuskegee, Alabama, helping pave the way to desegregate the U.S. military. There's no better feeling than to serve the United States. The U.S. celebrating Butler, honoring his heroism and military service with awards. It's quite a thrill. Makes me feel like I'm really somebody. Sergeant Butler receives more than just letters, piles of birthday gifts, hats, blankets, paintings, and his favorite, puzzles, adding to his appreciation. That is something that you feel right to your heart, and I mean, it makes you think how good the American people are. Sergeant Victor Butler's wife, family, friends, veterans groups will honor him outside of his house in a parade tomorrow. As for the cards, well, he told me he's going to read every one of them.